Hi everybody, I'm going to make a concertina sketchbook out of one big sheet of watercolour paper. Um, but before I make it, I want to sort of activate the paper by making really quite random marks right across the page before I start folding and cutting it. This is going to be part one. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm just going to make some really quite random marks. I've mixed up these Daniel Smith watercolours that you'll see over here and with some water into little pots. And I'm making marks quite randomly across the whole sheet. So I want things just to turn up somehow, wherever. I've got a separate brush for each colour, which I think is quite important. So we don't get colours mixing together too much. Um, I'm also going to just use my little water spray to push things around as well. So. So I'll be tipping things up, moving things around. I don't really like that water spray, it's not very activated. Oh, I'll use this one instead, this is what better. That's better, got a bit of action happening just now. And I'm going to put in some orange. I find it quite good to keep the colour quite random and really, really important to leave some white paper. So that you don't fill in absolutely everything. And these are going to become quite interesting when they're, they're cut and folded into a sketchbook. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this green, I think. I've got a kind of an idea of what I might be doing here later. Of course, it could be completely different. Who knows exactly what's going to happen? And that's the joy of it. You never quite know where things are going to turn up. So, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of this purple, which I quite like. And I'll be getting rid of some of these parts with white paint as well, at some point. But you can see that I'm making my marks in all sorts of different directions. I don't want the mark to become just in one direction. And I'm going to give it another quick squirt of water. It's actually quite a lot of fun doing this. Just letting some of the colours run together, but I don't want to do too much because I want some white paper to still remain. And I really have no idea where all these bits are going to turn up when I fold the paper up and cut it. So you'll be seeing that in the next part of the of this process. You can see that I've covered the paper, it's quite interesting. Now this really has to dry, um, but before it does, I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of ink in a few places. So I've got a lovely long brush here that I've made by sticking an old paintbrush onto the end of a very bendy stick that I found at the beach with a masking tape. And what I like about this is that there's a bit of ink, a little tiny bit of water, so I can start making some really quite interesting darks as well as lights. I haven't really let much white come through, but you know what, I'll probably, I should have probably left a bit more white, but I'll, I'll come back in and I'll add some uh, gesso over this when it's dry so you can see it next time at the next stage. So for the moment I'm just going to leave you to have a look at the whole piece of paper. It's a really quite fun exciting way to work and you know just don't be afraid to do anything I mean just keep the colours fairly limited it's really fun working with them together and just see what comes out of it and um, I should be really looking forward to seeing what happens um, when it's all dry and perhaps I add a little bit of gesso and then I should be folding and cutting it into a concertina book. Great to have a chat today and I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Debbie McKinnon, this is 
Draw with Debbie episode two. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Draw with Debbie. And also at my other account, Debbie McKinnon. So looking forward to a bit more fun with the concertina book. Bye for now. Hi everybody, this is Debbie McKinnon. Just going to show you how to do the concertina sketchbook. This is part two. Um, I showed you how to make the random background on the watercolor or mixed media paper in part one. But now we're going to turn this into a fabulous concertina sketchbook. So I thought I'd demonstrate the method first by showing you on a piece of just white photocopy paper, just so that you understand exactly how to do the folding and cutting. So we fold the paper in half. Make sure the edges are really nicely leaned, lined up and score the line with your thumbnail. Fold back into the centre. It's quite important that the folds are accurate. And a second fold. One fold. Turn it over. And fold lengthwise. Now fold the edges into the centre. And on the other side. Open it up again. And you can see we've got all those folds. Then we cut along. I've got another one here to show you. You cut along until this point here. Then you cut from this side up to this point here. And then you cut from this side again. So you're making three cuts each time, leaving a page on each side uncut. Okay, so that's the theory. Then when we fold it up, we turn it into Oops. A fabulous little book. It has four pages and then a little join, another four pages. So let's do this with the big one now. I'll move this off to one side. So exactly the same method. I'm going to fold the big piece sheet of paper in half. making sure my corners are beautifully lined up and scoring the edge with my thumbnail. Open it up, fold into the centre. It's always quite exciting because you end up finding that the random marks you've made turned up in a place you hadn't quite expected them to be in. And the next stage of this is that I'll be taking some white gesso and painting some of the parts out. So I'll turn it over and fold the other way. Once again, always matching up the corners before you fold to keep it nice and accurate. into the centre. I found the template for this at citizensketches.com. So I'm sure you can look them up. She says that she's happy for anyone to use her instructions, so it's not a breach of copyright. It's a great way to make an easy to carry, very lightweight, concertina book. All right, I've made all my folds now. And now I'm going to start cutting. So, I'm going to take 
this side I'm going to cut across here. Make sure I've got the fold carefully sorted out there. So here's my scissors. And I'm going to cut neatly along this line here, along the fold. Remembering to stop so that the last page is not cut. So I'll turn it around, go from the other side, along this, this way. Leaving that page uncut to the edge. You can see there's the space. Turn it around one more time. Sorry, I keep knocking my tripod. I'm learning all sorts of new stuff here. And the final cut is going along here. Now comes the exciting bit. So, I start to fold the pages into four, and as I get to here, I bend it back, turn it around, fold again, bend it back, and fold again. Bend it back, and fold again. So now I have a beautifully folded concertina book. I'm going to just enlarge this a tiny bit so you can see it. And now we can see what we have on each one of the pages. As we get to here, I'll just open this up. And I'm going to be doing this concertina spread sketchbook of my views all around the bay. So I'll be taking some of the colour out with gesso and I'll be then drawing back into it. So I'll just show you again how each page now looks. Gives me very exciting backgrounds to work on and I'll easily be able to remove some of the colour and I'll be drawing back into it with ink and sticks so I'll make another video of that quite soon. Meanwhile, enjoy, um, have fun making your sketchbooks and I'll be fascinated to see what you do. If you do any, just hashtag them, draw with Debbie and post them on Instagram. Look forward to it. Bye for now. Happy Easter.